Hello, my name is Petra Lewis. Uh, we're going to talk briefly about where the lobes of the lung project on a normal chest X-ray. The first thing you need to remember is when we're looking at a chest X-ray, we're looking at a 2D representation of what are 3D structures. And this often confuses medical students who think that the left lower lobe perhaps used to be down, needs to be down here, and they're forgetting how it really projects in that 3D dimension. So the easiest place to start is by drawing the fissures and easiest to draw the fissures on the lateral chest x-ray. So the oblique fissure runs roughly from the apex of the heart to about the level of the aortic notch on both sides of the thorax. So you know when you look at the frontal chest radiograph that the lower lobe is going to come up as high as this. So the lower lobe of the lung comes all the way up to the aortic notch. The other thing to remember is that the lower portion of the lung comes down well below the level of the domes of the hemidiaphragm. So if you draw a line from the anterior costophrenic angle to the posterior costophrenic angle back here, that's going to give you some idea of how far the lungs come down. And so on the frontal radiograph, we're talking about the lungs coming down something like this. Now we've done that. We've got all the information we know to pretty much know where the lower left lobe projects on the frontal radiograph and where it projects on the lateral radiograph. And here's a drawing that I made earlier. To do the left upper lobe, let's again draw in that oblique fissure coming up to the level of the aortic arch as we said earlier. The upper lobe is going to be anterior to that oblique fissure. And what you need to note here is that left upper lobe comes all the way down to the apex of the lung here, so we know it's going to come all the way down here. It doesn't come all the way to the midline because the right ventricle, the most anterior part of the heart, is up against the sternum there. But the left upper lobe we can now draw in as being something like this and like this. And here's one that I drew earlier. So now let's start with the right lower lobe, and like on the left, we start by drawing our oblique fissure on here. Again, it comes up as high as the aortic arch, so we know that the right lower lobe is going to come up here. Again, you can join those posterior and anterior costophrenic angles, so you know how far down it's going to come. It's going to come all the way down here. Now we can just go ahead and we know where our right lower lobe projects on both the frontal and the lateral radiographs. And here's my drawing from earlier. Now we have to remember that on the right we not only have the oblique fissure but we have the horizontal or minor fissure. So let's draw that oblique fissure in again. And the horizontal minor fissure is going to be about the level of the right hilum. And it's going to be horizontal amazingly enough and it's going from anterior to posterior to meet the oblique fissure. So we can draw those structures on. So let's take our horizontal fissure and draw it straight across here on the frontal radiograph, the same as on the lateral chest x-ray. We know that our upper lobe is going to be up here. So here it is on the lateral radiograph. Contains this area here. And so here it is on the frontal. Easy, huh? And here's the one I drew earlier. And then last but not least is my favorite lobe, the right middle lobe. And again, let's just draw our fissures on. There's only one little space left in our 3D jigsaw puzzle here. So this will be our right middle lobe on our lateral radiograph. Let's draw that fissure on again here. And now this gets a little bit trickier because we've got a fissure that's kind of in three dimensions, difficult to imagine. So I'm going to have to tell you here that the way that the right middle lobe projects is as a triangle on the frontal radiograph. And if you look at any... Eps any uh, Examples of right middle lobe pneumonia, you'll see this, and it's going to fill in those two um, lines like that. This is the oblique fissure shown in tangent here. A couple of things to note. Note that the right middle lobe will abut that right heart border, and, but it's not going to abut the right hemidiaphragm. That's the prerogative of the right lower lobe. And here's that final lobe, as I showed you earlier. Hopefully you guys have got lobes of the lung on a gestic right now.